Okay, just to give you a background about us, um, we in uh, Telecom Malaysia, we are the largest provider of uh, fixed line, uh, uh, what do you call it, services, uh, mainly on the broadband uh, side of business. Uh, we are also a convergence uh, a provider, a service provider in, in Malaysia, where we also have the, uh, the content and also the uh, mobility service. Uh, and we are also the largest provider for the um, the SME and enterprise market. So our base of the, the service has always been about uh, providing connectivity. and uh, But now we are moving uh, to the space of uh, solution uh, uh, providing as well. Uh, most of this it has to do with building the over-the-top capabilities that is required for, for the upcoming uh, what do you call that, uh, requirements, and also the current requirement. The current requirements, of course, due to the uh, end of the pandemic uh, that we have seen all, all across the world, uh, the same, uh, uh, what do you call that, issues has happened here in, in Malaysia. A lot of people are now uh, moved from uh, working from uh, uh, from office to working from anywhere, uh, especially from working from home. And due to that, our demand has increased, but our clients and our our, our partners have come back to us and asked us to also look at what are the things that you know that we can provide to value add uh, to the, the base service of connectivity excellence. So with that, I would like to just quickly go through um, uh, the presentation material, which has to do with how API uh, will become the accelerator for uh, for the uh, telco business uh, moving forward. So the, the first thing that I would like to uh, share with you guys is uh, the challenges that uh, that has been there uh, for the CSP providers or the telcos, uh, as, as we have mentioned. Uh, the environment that uh, the telcos has been, uh, has been, number one, very uh, we have a very heterogeneous environment uh, from systems to processes and also resources, uh, mainly due, uh, due to the fact that we are moving away from a traditional uh, telco providing to a more digitalized uh, telco providing. So our, our focus in uh, the IT and digital organization of TM Malaysia is to simplify the processes, standardize the system, and have a stable resources to provide a lean, mean, and clean, uh, uh, what do you call that, uh, setup for, for the organization. Um, this is basically looking at uh, the various uh, issues that also not Telecom Malaysia has. This is a... Uh, an issue that actually exists in most of the telcos and even in other industries because even bankings, you know, uh, thing like what Shankar was just saying before, uh, they, they have been in the, um, uh, predominantly in the uh, traditional uh, infrastructure, which is uh, in this case a, um, uh, what do you call mainframe systems. But what they have done now is they have actually mixed it up with the mainframe still being there uh, with uh, what you call new uh, set of systems. So the heterogeneous systems are always there. Because of the heterogeneous system, the process are very, very complex because you got to manage both the, uh, the, the digital and non-digital uh, setup. Then finally, you also have a, a different kind of resource management from skills to you know, capabilities. And, and hence, we're trying to simplify the whole process by making sure that the systems are, are standard and ensuring that we have a good setup of the resources to, to manage this. Thing. This is how we're going to uh, drive the lean, mean, and clean uh, setup. So what do we aspire? So from, from what I've just mentioned earlier, we are trying to move the value chain of uh, the uh, enablers, in this case, the, the technology uh, uh, providers, both in IT and also in network, and also the other digital streams, to become a digital telco. This is our drive that has been there in TM. Uh, for the last uh, uh, three, four years, and we would like to become a digital telco, and we are there, we're heading towards there by 2021. Uh, by next year, we believe with, with uh, you know, some marquee projects that we have, uh, we, we believe that, you know, we can drive a more of a digital ecosystem within our organization. But the ultimate goal is to move away from a digital uh, telco to becoming a cognitive telco. So what is cognitive telco? It's basically having the capability to have hyper personalization, you know, a more persona management, and the whole uh, intelligence to be able to do real time, uh, what do you call that, uh, service providing. And that's going to be important. It's becoming the, 
um, uh, if you talk about uh, global, is becoming the uh, the Amazons uh, of the what do you call of the telco uh, providing. Or well, locally, we can even talk about Lazadas and and what have you. So the the this goal of the uh, becoming a cognitive telco is something that we are driving uh, in in our organization, and it's going to become a main uh, catalyst uh, going forward. Now, so we know what uh, what to become. So the, the most uh, important points on uh, having this thing is uh, making sure that we have a platform that we, we, that we can work on. So I'm, I'm glad to share we, the collaboration with WSO2 has actually uh, been for the last um, uh, three to four years in which you know, we started off by our research and development team of our TM uh, adopting the WSO2 as a platform to become a brokerage or a, what do you call that, an enabler uh, for, for our internal usage. From there, we actually started building a lot of the uh, applications and the, the services that can be actually shared uh, to the external market as well. Just to scale back on, on this, if you look at the, uh, the diagram that we have shown, what we actually use the, um, uh, the WSO2 platform is, uh, is first to become a data and service hosting platform. So that's that's how we start. So from there, we actually scale this up uh, to be able to create the microservices. And microservices, we believe, are going to be the the future on how we actually reduce the dependency on uh, what do you call that on having multiple applications and service providing. We can actually build the capabilities on our own, and from there, uh, we can actually move up to be able to create the service exchange platform that, that helps uh, to bring in uh, different uh, service providers to plug in their data points so we can actually have a consolidated digital service. This in, uh, in, in uh, Telecom Malaysia, we call this the open innovation platform. And this is how we have actually been driving it uh, you know, in the last uh, uh, three to four years. And we believe this is going to be the future of how we're going to do business uh, moving forward. I just want to check with uh, the the what do you call that uh, with the team if we have uh, if I'm too fast or too uh, going too fast. If not, then uh, I'm going to just take up take up some questions uh, in the meantime. Okay, I guess I can just can just move forward. So the uh, the evolution that we are looking at in the path of this API. Uh, from the from the looks of it, we actually have uh, what do you call that uh, three um, uh, evolution path. The first one is actually the uh, the ability to have an agile uh, uh, capability, both uh, combining the the, the delivery uh, uh, mechanism of uh, agile and waterfall, uh, and also looking at it from a more of a reactive kind of uh, capability. And this is where the APIs are, are just. A component of uh, you know uh, uh, of sharing, so it's actually being able to share data between uh, different side of uh, uh, technologies. That is moving it into a platform orchestration. When it comes to the orchestration level, this is where we actually enrich the APIs from uh, becoming a uh, a single layer of uh, sharing into multi layers. So it's more transactional, and this is where we start building the the microservices. And from there, we actually move it into what we call a uh, intelligent, uh, uh, what do you call that platform? This intelligent platform is why we believe that we will move away from DevOps to no ops, in which most of the things can be actually done without the needing of people, you know, to eyeball, to you know, to to even do code development. It can be lifted off and it can actually self, uh, what do you call that, manage by itself. This we believe will be the right path for us to uh, go forward, and. Um, to achieve this is where we, we believe that our drive and our key takeaways uh, for the upcoming, uh, what do you call that, uh, future is to make sure that as a telco, we need to move into the space of cognitive. We can't just stay uh, on the space of digital because everybody is a digital telco. So to really value add and uh, uh, what do you call it, take it to the next level, we need the, uh, to become a cognitive telco. We want the data to be the intelligence for us to drive the insights and personalization. And we believe API is in the core for us to become a CSP business accelerator. 